Hello everyone, welcome to a reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to uh, Master Circuit Series Season 2, Week 2, Round 4 feature match, which was myself. Um, MBT was kind enough to feature myself. Uh, at this point I was undefeated in the tournament, so I think it's going to be really cool uh, for us to go ahead and watch it. I figured I'd react to it rather than just uploading a straight up 16 minute video of literally just MBT reacting to my feature match. Um, I think that that was a little bit more uh tasteful i guess <laughs> rather than just ripping off someone else's content so we're gonna go ahead and do that but uh, before we get into it i do want to mention something this is my membership you can join just by clicking this little join button it's on uh, 99 cents right now um that's it and there's some content you can see this is a little sneak preview you can click this but i'm not i'm not gonna click it you you got it you gotta pay the 90 cents to join um but yeah it's uh, i'm working on a, a like a dual night kind of series um so i'm working on a custom draft with uh custom cards like these uh it's pretty cool uh hopefully that's gonna be out soon uh with all that said let's go ahead and get into the reaction so uh yeah here we go hello everybody it's your boy joseph rothschild aka mbt and we are back with the fourth round of the second week of your master circuit series i'm super excited to be able to show off this next round for you I i've got a couple of updates before we do so though about how some players are doing and i'm just gonna tell you right now you're not going to like all of them. First up, Jeff Leonard has dropped. No. I know. No, Jeff Leonard, no. I know, We're painful. In fact, we watched the <laughs> only match he was able to win. I actually have no idea if he was on Exodia, which, by the way. I guess I would say what is even the point of going on what is the point so of being true. alive if, if this is what I'm going to have to deal with? Uh, but, you know, so you win sad. some, you lose so several dozen. But that's not the only person who's uh, who's playing really cool stuff. Uh, we've actually got in our uh, group of individuals who are still potentially in contention for Top Cut, two people who are playing decks that are a little under the radar. Not represented on That's our right, wheel. Um, they're just waiting a quick moment before they hop into this game. So really funny. I do want to mention something. He says we have to like wait a quick moment. Um, that's because... So I was doing this really weird stream thing where when I was streaming... This is me on the bottom right here. I was streaming from a separate computer that was spectating my Master Duel match. So my opponents couldn't see my hand. Does that make sense? So like, obviously if I streamed my own screen, you could see my hand. So I had to stream from a second account on a separate computer <laughs> that was like streaming my match. So it was really funny that I had to do stuff like that. So uh, that's why I like the hand is like this. But I think uh, I was trying to set that up. So I was like, wait a moment, wait a moment. And then uh, I think he was like, oh, we have to like wait a second. We are going to be playing Eclipse <laughs> so, that was kind of funny. game. But a little bit of insight on what I, the stream playing... is doing. Scare Speaking of which, sorry, real quick, once again, if you want to watch this, I'm probably going to leave this in the link below. This is my entire run, my five-hour run. This is just, like, pulled from a random spot. Uh, but, yeah, you can watch that if you want. I also streamed it to Twitch, but I don't think that VOD is out. Claw Cash we'll Tira see. versus Sorvent. That's me. Who is playing Rika Sun Avalon. You know it. Uh, two really competent combo decks that can play through a huge majority of stuff. No, no, no. Uh, that, and that, uh, uh, damn sight more <laughs> uh, consistent than Cash Tira Pure. Um, uh, now, the, before we get started, it's, it's important to remember that this season of the Master Circuit Series is, in fact, um, open to individuals from any location. Now, I don't have confirmation... But if Eclipse XV is a European player, I think we are about to watch an incredibly fast game. Oh, and let's, no. Uh, let's see what we're working on. Is it European? We have to Oof. find out. Oh, no. How often do you get a name of a deck so long it does not fit in the box? It still doesn't fit in the box. All right, we got to we we notice something real quick. Or not real quick, but... Um, there's some point where he might search a Scareclaw Kashira, and I have to keep a note of that uh, because I definitely should have known that. So let, let's watch and see if he searches Scareclaw Kashira at any point. All right, your name is going to be Eclipse. We're going to say Scareclaw Cash. Searches Reichhardt. 
And they appear to have won the die roll as well. So we're going to begin with a copy of Unicorn. This is, you know, very frightening to individuals who are like, oh, God, not not Unicorn. Uh, but it's going to be followed up with Baloney. Now, this is how you pronounce this card. We're going to go uh, Baloney into Lightheart. And we'll trigger the effect of the Lightheart to grab a copy of the Primitive Planet Reich Phobia. Oh, beautiful, beautiful Royal Rare Reich Phobia here. That allows so us to grab from deck to hand, as you would expect, a copy of either Vsauce Starfrost or, more likely, a Scareclaw monster. And we're going for Acro. Now, looking at the deck list, it's actually a really, really small package of Scareclaw monsters that they're playing. Uh, one a piece of Baloney, Acro, and uh, whatever the third one's name is. Okay. Um, but sufficient in order to add a Triheart and a Twin Saw to the end of a already competent uh, Cash Tira board. Okay, so we have three unknowns in hand. All right, all three of these going to the graveyard. That's three different typings. So let's go ahead and make Scareclaw Triheart. And then because we have a Scareclaw in Grave, we can activate Triheart's effect in order to bring it back later in the turn. First, we're going to go for the Cash Tier Theosis, targeting the Unicorn. This can grab a Fenrir. And then we can go for the Fenrir as well. Fenrir is going to be able to grab us a copy of uh, Rise Heart from deck. And a quick reminder that as soon as you activate that Theosis, you are locked into Xyz for the remainder of the turn. So here we're going to go uh, Shangri Ira. We can activate the effect of the Rise Heart. Rise Heart target the. Or, uh, Rise Heart banish Big Bang. Cycle for Shangri Ira. We might not even have Big Bang in the deck. It's It's kind of a brick. All right, we will go for the Big Bang. We'll trigger the Big Bang, target the Shangri Ero. We can cycle the Fenrir back. If we would like, we can go uh, Rise Heart and the Fenrir for a copy of uh, Shangri-Ero. So something Era really X funny here I do want to mention. I remember playing this and being really uh, like confused because I looked at my hand. I was like, I have a five-card hand, and I looked at the top of my deck, and it said 40 two i believe and i was like uh oh i clicked the wrong deck like because like i play a 50 card deck right and so i'm like oh no like i clicked the wrong deck i'm gonna get dq'd i'm so dead like this is awful and then i was like wait i have three cards banished like that's where my three missing cards went so i thought i clicked the wrong deck but <laughs> it didn't uh the rise heart just confused me for a minute and i don't know i should have been used to it at that point but i was just really to worried for a make minute, a three material a rise heart try hard to a link zone and um get a fender on our opponent's turn as well and a rise heart being able to lock the zone under the emz uh usually pretty close to uh what you want to be doing in every matchup here devastating because uh oh god do we need that zone for dry ass we're going to bring back the acro making the try heart a little bit bigger we are now locked into Scareclaws and locked into Okay, so he does search uh, Scareclaw Cash monsters. Tira. So I believe our turn is functionally over. Let's go ahead and set that Twin Saw. Ooh, and set something else, too. If it's an Imperm, that's pretty powerful. Oh, a third card. Okay, so I did right, know he had Scareclaw Cash Tira. So um, I'll give you guys some insight. Well, I guess we'll just watch it. We'll just watch it. It comes up immediately. So, so first and foremost, that. we're going to have to find an out to the Shangri-Ira or else we are going to lose all of our zones. Secondly, we're going to have to find an out to the Arise Heart because we do need access to the graveyard. It's a big ask in a combo deck like Rika. I don't remember what I have here in standby. Well, no, the blue's on their side. The light is. So they had something in standby, possibly. I got to say, I'm, I'm constantly impressed with Scareclaw. Like, Tryhard is such a difficult card for a significant amount of decks to out. And while he doesn't, like, do anything... Just artificially extending the length of the game is so, so, so important for a deck like Cash. Like, if you can get back to your turn and execute your linear line again, here grabbing a unicorn just to potentially lock a, another zone. So I go uh, straight to battle another phase, zone. And that should give you the first hint. We got the but, evenly matched. Oh no. Matched. <laughs> this deck does not have a good answer to evenly matched. Oh no. Oh wow. And you, I don't know what you keep here. So I think it takes him quite a bit of whiles to figure this out. I'm going to skip ahead because it takes like quite a bit of time to figure it out. 
Um, because like, this is like the interaction point of the turn. You know what I mean? Like, um, you have to decide at this point what to keep, right? Like, do you keep the arise heart? Do you keep the try heart? You know, like if you keep the try the arise heart, you can like attach something back to it. Like you can get another material, you know, like you have, you have a lot of options here. You know, you have to really decide what the best card on your board is and what to keep. Um, at the end of the day, he decides to go ahead and keep the Based try heart. So, slow player. Um, well, listen. Yeah, it did take him after quite a bit of time minutes, to figure it, that out. It constitutes but slow play, but like... That was like... This is point. the interaction point, like, yeah, right? Like, like MBTC. That's You'll never have point. to make a more important decision here. So we got the normal summon pedal to follow it up, which is absolutely insane. Than this. So we are going to keep Tryhard uh, being like, no, I think I can claw my way back into this game, provided I keep Tryhard. We've got a lot of really good stuff in, in the graveyard. I guess just hoping that this us, is going to happen. Tryhard isn't like a Baguska. It's like a... Like, it's fine. It's good to work Rick with. a pedal here. Does we got a, a Ash Blossom coming on on our pedal. Um, so I... Asterisk. After oh, this but Ash point Blossom is coming play. down is You'll pretty see. strong. If we don't have an answer to that Ash Blossom, then this might be the end of the turn. This is one of the few, like, kind of weird choke points. Not opening Lokai and instead going pedal for Dry Ass is way less powerful. Con Con would have won the game, but here we'll have to be card drawn. Like, the evenly was crazy, but if this is all the Ricka player can manage, it is a pretty clear line to lethal. Oh, Jesus! So this was a really bad option here. I decided to go Talents to look at the hand. I probably should have either drawn two or stolen the Triheart, because we know this is a Scareclaw Cash. Um, I didn't really think about it at the time because there was a lot of cards, so it was really hard for me to keep track of what he had in hand and what he had on field. Um, but I should have thought about it for more than three seconds and realized that this is a tri uh, a Scareclaw Cash Dira. Um, but yeah, I definitely jumped the gun here. I oh was just God. like, oh, if this is a hand trap, like we're, we're cooking. But like the rest of my hand was absolutely insane. It did not matter. We're so picking the card in hand. So he's just going to chain it here. They say, okay, fine. I'll activate scare cash. In fact, I think we knew the card in hand was scare cash, right? Yep, we sure did, which is pretty bad on my part, but it's fine. It's a little bit of a misplay that it didn't. Really and we're just going to maxi in response says, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So if we're not drawing and we're not taking, I imagine we have follow up. And if we're not taking we sure try do. heart, I imagine we have con con exactly. Close, but not exactly. Banishing Theosis here isn't the worst. All the cards are banished face down, so the Theosis can Wait, really I, only uh, get big bang. Uh, we get <laughs> yeah. big bang back. That's all. That's all you can do. We don't play any links we can make with Tryhard. I see. So we got a Mudan. Right, Mudan here. What's yep. really funny is I'll I'll be real with you. I drew Loki here, which is like kind of mid at this point because we didn't have we we already used our normal summon on pedal, right? So like we don't have a way to put this Loki on field at the moment. Uh, that's the follow up. But, uh, that's as bad as it gets. We have the Mudan. Mudan can be special summoned and, from the uh, hand and adds a Ricka spell trap from your deck to your hand. Calls. And uh, what Ricka spell trap do you think we will be seeing? Yep. There it is. It might be a little Jover here. We'll activate Rick a Con Con. We'll go ahead and tribute this Scareclaw Tryhard, I imagine. I guess we could also tribute our monster and then tribute the Tryhard for the spell. I don't really know how this works. Oh, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Glamour. See ya, buddy. So that's like the best way to get rid of Tryhard. Um, that's like our only interaction and point we'll against Tryhard, too. So if he had so, like, literally anything else, this is good. <laughs> oh, God. Grabbing Lily also was kind of mid good. here because we're we're locked because of Petal and Con Con so and Snowdrop now, so like like the Lily's just like there for follow up. You know? This is but, good, but uh, something you might have noticed at this point. In fact, he's gonna say it right here. But you know, we don't yet have access to a Loki. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> All right, never mind. Timing, this was right? a custom hand. Yeah. It oh no. Was a custom hand. <laughs> We weren't summoning Petal over Lokai because we didn't have Lokai. We were summoning Petal over Lokai to make our opponent think we didn't have Lokai, at which point we could con con them. No, no. Okay, no. We, uh, I, I am just now receiving just word that Eclipse Maxi. XV has <laughs> British citizenship. Oh, oh no. He's British. Uh, oh, no. oh no, they're actually, they're located, they're located in Great Britain right now. Oh no. Oh, it's oh, it's over. 
Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, so yeah, another card in hand is Big Bang. Basic, um, set is there up anything the we can do here? We expect two. the follow-up to be Scare Cash can pivot into Reichhardt. Reichhardt for Reichphobia. We're probably playing two. We can go get... Uh, we can go get Green Guy. Ugh, yeah, I, I am struggling to think of anything that can beat this end board. I don't remember what healer I Healer under the I Jasmine. Like oh my god. Princess? Did we not trigger Healer? We didn't. Oh wow, we'll target the Dryas, which triggers Bro Jasmine. Know healer's not we get to grab prepared. a plant here. We already have um, Lily Boria in hand. Yeah, so Princess here. Wow, that princess just solos the entire field. Yeah, so this Lily's actually kind of insane. By the, so our hand right now is uh, Lily Regulus Princess. You don't see the Regulus ever. But I decided to keep it for follow-up because I'm just going to go like search field spell off are the we plant lock? Lily. I don't believe we are. Yeah, we are. We plant lock so three here, times. Uh, we can actually go Lily Boria grab Regulus. Have we been plant locked? So we're, we're going to have a lot of follow-up because we're going to have the Colosseum, the Regulus for follow-up, and then like the pedal coming back. Us. Oh, and Snowdrop plant locked, locked us. Right. Okay. Whew. The king will not be making an appearance. Oh, and Con Con also plant locks you. Interesting. And pedal. <laughs> So I realize here that I probably should have summoned like something off of the Jasmine. I was like, how oh, what do I summon here? I decided to just go for another copy of Princess so I can make a Strena. And Petal Plant locks you. I'm learning a lot about the Ricka cards today. Princess and Princess, we can go get Strena here. Yep, that was the idea. We could go like Strena. Oh god, Lily Bory is an eight. Teardrop. That's about right. I did kind Hyper of misplay here because I activated the Strena a little bit too quickly. I was considering just grabbing back a Snowdrop so I could have really good follow-up. Um, but I said to just go for Mudon, which is pretty close to the Who are same we grabbing? Thing. You just grab Mudon for follow up is fine, but I, I should have probably just went for Snowdrop. How did you pronounce that? That's how he's pronounced, Hyperatin. Teardrop the Rick of Queen. Are we going to teardrop our own Strena? That would be really funny. It would be funny, but there was no way to attach a spell to the Hyperton uh, if I did, unless if I activated the field spell and then I could attach the spell. But that's just not very good. Um, yeah, it's just not. It's just not all that great. Plus, I don't think there's like any spell card in their deck that like my my field auto loses to. So I feel like I just oh, go teardrop good. tribute, and then like that deals with the whole board. Whatever he summons, like I can either tribute, Elias. negate, bounce, or take. Like I have a target Loki, and on Bangalancer. No Cocom this week. We're going to have one for Top Cut. I can't believe Gage wanted to do the entire thing. I just assumed he only wanted to do Top Cut. I guess I already used Con Con to set the Glamour, so I can't set the sheet. So I, oh, I this is there. disastrous. I can't get the sheet. But. Can we get Jillian to co-commentate? No. She has something to do today. All right. Well, Eclipse, you opened the God Hand, and it got. <laughs> now you're saying, "God damn, what are we? What are <laughs> we doing here?" We know one of the two yeah, cards in hand is Big Bang, and yeah. it looks like there was absolutely nothing you could have done. Like I don't think any card in his like deck. A Big would have Bang as board. all of and also his like, cards explode into Nether, forward. unable to compete with plants. I I guess don't can't count plants out. Never count plants out. You never know if the opponent is European. Thanks for the duel, they say. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, you never really do know if your uh, your opponent's European, so that's pretty awesome. So the, that's the uh, that's the match for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be leaving this in the description below as well if you do want to just watch the original video. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me today. Once again, you can check out the full stream here, also in the link below. And also in the link below, there will be a membership tab. You can uh, click the join button if you want, just $1. You're gonna be getting access to some dual live stuff uh, that I'm gonna be working on. It's gonna be really cool. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the plan. So uh, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching, goodbye.